Hello guys, your boy Yashvir, and welcome boys to my channel. So if you're new to this channel guys, I would like you to kill me and smash the subscribe button right about now. Okay, do it right now. Okay, so without any further ado guys, in this video I'm gonna show you a nice decent gaming PC build. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how you're gonna actually buy, um, how you're gonna actually uh, gather all the parts by your own and then buy them okay when it's shipped to you okay then you're gonna put all together and build a decent gaming pc okay at a budget price okay so for this tutorial we are focusing about 400 dollars 450 dollars okay maximum 450 dollars okay including the graphic cards as well okay in including the gpu as well okay but right now the market for the gpu is really high guys okay so i don't recommend you to buy the gpu from amazon okay so oh yeah i do yeah amazon has the best dell optiplex guys okay so you're gonna just visit amazon.com and find dell optiplex okay like this one okay this one Dell Optiplex 710 tower okay uh, this has an Intel quad core i5 third gen okay and it, it comes with 8 gigs of RAM 500 uh, GB HDD okay the hard drive storage is 500 gigs okay and for the price guys okay $180 okay 179 that $99 okay $180 for this price tag I find it really best okay it is the best for this price this is the same this is the price that you will pay okay and if someone is demanding uh, $200, $200 $300 for a simple uh i5 surgeon and 8 gigs of ram and 500 gigs of hdd if they are demanding you okay 300 bucks it not worth it okay it is not worth it this kind of dell optiplex they are old okay 8 to uh, 12 years old okay so this price tag over 100 50 to 180 dollars this is a, this is a good price tag okay i would say go for it okay do not blink just go for it and well if you get another deal such as eight, uh, 16 gigs of ram and with probably one tb of hard drive then uh, it's a bang for luck okay so you must take it the next thing okay I'm gonna make this Dell Optiplex okay I'm gonna make this Dell Optiplex I'm gonna remove all the parts from the Dell Optiplex 7 10 and I'm gonna put it in a uh, ATX case and I'm gonna add some RGB fans okay I'm gonna make it cooler okay with a gaming PC build, so watch. Uh, you will need a CPU cooler, okay? This, this, uh, this one comes with a bracket, okay? It does comes with bracket, okay? The CPU bracket, and with uh, some paste as well, okay? Uh, you will need of these cables, okay? The four pin to uh, three ways PWM fan splitter cable. And you will need of this uh, five pin female to four pin male socket. Okay, this one you'll need two of this. The the Pocaton five pin cable you will need. You will need two of this cable. And I'm also gonna add. I'm also gonna add this, the memory RAM with heat sink. Okay, the heat sink for our RAM. And it comes with a remote controller. Okay, this one it's two pack. Okay, so two slots. Okay, and I suggest you 
all right because this Dell Optiplex 710s it will come with a power supply of uh, 300 watts or 400 um, watts okay wattage okay the wattage will be 300 watts okay all right but if you're if you're planning to use uh, an AMD RX 580 560 570 cards then I believe then um, you should I suggest you should change the power supply you should change the you should remove the stock power supply from this Dell Optiplex 710 and you should add a decent okay power supply uh, 500 watts okay so RS game I've always used RS game power supply because they are good and you can go and click on that okay you can check it out you will see a lot of ratings okay a lot of reviews a lot of positive reviews so i know how to dismantle and i know where to where to place the motherboard where to place the everything okay all right so next you'll need of this okay so for this power supply to work you'll need of the 24 pin to 8 pin adapter okay you'll need this cable okay so this one uh it is 11 inch which is quite uh which is good okay if you have the money then just go for the 30 inch which is 12 dollars okay so i'm just gonna go with this one long decks 11 inch 24 pin to 8 pin uh psu power supply adapter cable for motherboards um this will work on uh this okay the dell optiplex 710 the motherboard socket is 1155 okay 1155 so it's gonna work and lastly we need a uh, ATX case games with three tempered glass panels and five RGB fans okay five RGB lighting modes uh, which means five fans okay so yeah and if you add all of them okay let's add all of that so I'm gonna add this move to cart okay it's a Dell Optiplex 710 CPU cooler we need this cable okay this one will need two of them and I'm gonna add this I'm gonna add the power supply and the power supply cable and lastly we're gonna add the FPS ATX case okay so as you can see I've added all of these and the subtitle is 290 okay 290 dollars and i'm gonna lastly i'm gonna add this okay so right now the the subtitle for nine items okay the subtitle for nine items it's around 390 dollars okay so you have ten dollars more to spend okay you can spend it on a ssd um i don't know if you you'd get a cheap ssd but as for me i do not require a ssd right now okay because i have a 500 gb ssd at home okay In, at my place i already have a used uh, 500 gb ssd okay so i'm gonna get lucky as for me okay and for the ram okay as for me i'm not a heavy uh heavy user I'm just gonna use this PC for casual gaming, such as Fortnite, Apex Legends, and some light other games. So I believe eight gigs of RAM is sufficient for me. Okay, it is enough for me. And perhaps uh, when I get, perhaps when I have more money later, I might buy another uh, another eight GB RAM. Okay. So don't buy the GPU on Amazon. You can always check New Egg, Walmart, Best Buy, um, where else? eBay, Wish. Okay, check for the um, check on Facebook Marketplace if your friends, okay, in your country, maybe some people are selling their uh, graphic cards. Okay, you can buy them at second hand prices 
Alright, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. I hope this tutorial will be helpful. And I'm also gonna do another video when all of them get shipped. Okay, so yeah, peace out.